many <laughs> different colors. No hubiera pensado que I love. me iba a enamorar jamás. No quería saber nada más, nunca más. Pero... Sorry, what? for long because my friend's gonna be here in like literally five minutes but do you guys ever get really delusional and think that you can open a bookstore slash cafe slash flower shop slash fun times um function event room place because i do and then i hyper fixate on it and then i look at all the competition nearby and i also look at business plans and costing and licensing and wholesalers and then i realize it's a little bit delusional and then i stop so that's been my morning <laughs> just to give you guys some context um but i'm about to go to a cafe and do a little editing for the vlog so you guys can come along with me bye Walking. Ah. It's really hot this morning. 2.5k to go. We did it. I'm so red. <laughs> back. We're very excited because it's a long weekend this weekend and we've just finished the gym. Did I record any of it? No. That's okay though. Anyway, oh you're going. Yeah. Yeah I was just gonna wait a second. We're gonna go to the beach today which is very exciting. Not everything's exciting. Why do I always say it's exciting? <laughs> Makes me so mad. It's like my biggest self ick. Yeah the weather's a bit temperamental but we've got blue skies at the moment which is great. Not exciting. Great. And we're gonna lay on the beach. <gasps> Sorry, what? Do you want a coconut shark? Maybe. I feel like we need a beverage for the beach. I feel like once we've gone to the beach, we're going to be really hot because it's like the middle of the then day. We'll then we want a beverage. Yeah. I just want to take something to the beach. I feel like we deserve something. We, went to the gym. we don't need a reward just because we went yes, to the gym. Yes, we do. Everything needs a reward. It's about romanticizing your life. That's what this vlog is about. Sure. And what better way to romanticize your life? Coffee. No, we've just had pre workout. We shouldn't get a coffee. No. Ah! We'll go to the pavilion when we're there. The pavilion. There's the we can get an acai bowl. Stop Fuck. hitting me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate you. I love you. All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.
a video all afternoon and it will be posted by the time you guys see this. It's a closet decluttering video. So I'll have a link to it here and I will put it in this time, I promise. It's actually a really fun video. So you should go and watch, especially if you are someone who needs to declutter your closet and you've been putting it off. This video, this, this segment is for you. Anyway, I recently ordered some bookish annotation stuff and I've never been a girl who annotates her books but I couldn't help myself because these were really, really cute. And I accidentally bought so many <laughs> different colors. I thought it would be fun if we picked a grouping of colors to annotate the book that I've just started reading. This is the book, as you guys would have seen, that I picked this morning for our little beach trip. And I actually really love it so far. I'm only like 20 pages in, but this book gripped me from the third page. I knew I was gonna like it as soon as I saw the line, Charlie, the wrong brother. <laughs> I knew this book was gonna be funny. So definitely, definitely recommend this one. And I thought I'd pick a color palette that kind of matches the theme of the book. So it's obviously set on a lake, lots of blues and greens and a little bit of orange. I'm thinking definitely not that, it's too dark. This could be a contender, that's pretty similar. It's more pink than orange, but all the other colors kind of match. Tank, you are so dramatic. Not that one. I think I've narrowed it down to three options. These three here. I do want a little bit of that orange in there, so maybe not this one. So out of these two, what matches this book? On the right. Your right? My right. It's got no orange in it. Yeah. All right, I think that works very well. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna start annotating because there was a few lines in the book when we were out and I was like, oh, I wanna annotate that, but I didn't have anything on me. So the good thing about these ones, I only got them recently from Timu, is they have a little ruler in there. So if you're someone who like wants to underline paragraphs and things like that, you can do it with this. And then I use this as a bookmark as well. So what is that? Oh, that goes in like a binder if you want to use them for like uni or something maybe. I don't know, but yeah, I use it as a bookmark. Fits in there perfectly. Yeah, that's that. What is your problem? You're so strange. <laughs> Hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás no quería saber nada más nunca más pero vos apareciste de repente y me hablaste con una voz tan dulce que perdí la razón y mi corazón ay amor Hey guys Welcome back. Hi Tank. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of scrapbooking today and I thought I would bring you guys with me. I have a lot of stuff to scrapbook from the Errors Tour. So let's do that together. It's gonna be a bit bittersweet to relive it, but it was such a great weekend and I want to journal about it. So that's what my scrapbook's for. I'll show you a few pages I've done already just to give you the vibes. I only started scrapbooking when I got home from Japan because I knew I wanted to put all of the memories into a visual diary in a sense. And I've never been like a journaler, but I do really enjoy crafting. So anyway, I thought I'd show you a few of my favorite spreads that I've done. This is the cover of my journal, just 2024. You are what you love. So this whole journal is basically everything that I love. I've got my January wrap up. I really like that one. So basically just everything I got into in January, I started filming and I started reading a lot more. So I really wanted to put that all down on paper. I also started running in January as well. My Noah Khan spread. So that's the set list from the Brisbane concert. Um, all the girls that I met up with, which was really, really nice. So I basically posted on TikTok that I was going alone and I found a bunch of girls who were also going alone and we met up together and we almost, we were probably like three or four rows from the front. So we we're pretty close. And it was just such a collectively good experience. Everyone had such a great time, so. My girls, these are my best friends. One lives in Spain and one lives at the Sunshine Coast where I used to live, so that's where we all met. And we've just had some of the best memories together, so I really wanted to make them spread. So yeah, that's a really special one. And then we went to Japan. So I've got a bunch of my Japan memories in there as well. 
I really love this one. I think this is one of my favorite spreads that I've done. I love just like printing out really little aspects of the trip and just like collaging them together. I don't put a lot of words in there to be honest. Like I really just let the photos do all the talking. We went to Disneyland. I've got all my vlogs on Japan as well. So if you guys want to see that, definitely go to my channel. Ignore the washing machine in the background as well. Sorry about that. But yeah, if you want to see the vlog, I vlogged the whole trip. The proposal, <laughs> leave that one. I also did a spread on my YouTube videos for Feb because this was the biggest month for YouTube for me. I'm very new to YouTube. I've only been here for three months. So thank you for having me. But <laughs> I wanted to document the progress that I've made so far. And the month of Feb was a really big month. I had the most views I've ever had and the most engagement. I had one video that got 5.5 thousand views, which was massive for like a very beginner channel. So I'm very happy with how it's going. So I wanted to do the Errors Tour 1, maybe kind of in between these two because it was in Feb, it was like the end of Feb, and I've left a few pages specifically for the Eros tour, so let's do that together today. Beneath the starlight sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self-touch your hand in mine It gets me every time So my camera battery died and I haven't charged my camera batteries So I'm the world's worst YouTuber ever But that's why we have phones Anyway, I thought I'd update you guys I have cut out all my images and I'm gonna do a few different spreads. I think the first one I wanna do is about my dress because I made it myself. I found the dress in an op shop and oops, I'm giving away. No, you guys have seen this, I'm sure. So I have a few little inspo photos for the dress, kind of the vibe I wanted to go for, very like fairy folklore lover butterflies. And then I have a few pictures of me in the dress. So I wanna do a few spreads with those first. And then I want to do like a friendship bracelet one, I'm thinking. And then I have so many of like the actual performances and things like that, which I thought would be really fun. So I'm just going to sort them first and then we will make the little spreads. Also, speaking of Taylor Swift, as always, I follow a channel called Chats and React. You guys are probably, if you love Taylor Swift, you've probably heard of them. I've been following them for forever and they do like album breakdowns, but a lot of Taylor Swift related content as well. They just posted their reaction to the Eras Tour film, I think, or watching the Eras Tour movie. And I was watching Vampire Diaries, but now I'm like, maybe it's a better option if I just put that on because that's just a little bit more relevant to what we're doing today. There were just so many moments from the show that I was just shocked at because it was just so well done. And like every moment had you engaged and like, oh my God, this is amazing. My friends in the Junior Jewels costume, so fun. Maybe I should do a little cutie title page, I think. Yeah, let's do that, that'll be fun. I've got all these highlighters I got from Timu. They're all different colors. They're very cute, so I think we'll do like a little, maybe a little calligraphy moment in like purples and pinks. Ta-da. I ran out of room. Beautiful. We'll do the inspo on this side, the dress and the friendship bracelets here. And then I'll do the outcome on the next page because I've got a lot of really big photos for that. Like that, so cute. I just don't know how one person can just be so perfect. She's literally perfect. I am delusional. So I like to plan it out first so you can kind of see where things are gonna sit and then just glue down like the bottom ones first and go in layers. It's been a long time coming. It's fearless, red, red. Not very good at this if you can't tell, but it is fun. Reading update, I'm reading, I actually have it right here, it's every summer after and I've started annotating as well if you can see. Isn't this just the most beautiful book you've ever seen? I don't have a lot of hardcovers and I'm really enjoying this one. I am, how far am I? 108 pages and it's only 300 pages long so I think I'll actually finish this hopefully by the end of the month and then I would have read a whopping total of three books this month. I know, somebody stop me. But this little romance is actually surprising me. I thought it would be just like a silly little romance, but it's like, it's such a beautifully written book. 
and I've just fallen in love with the characters. Like I knew from like the first few pages that I was really gonna love it and I still am. It's not my favorite looking so far. We're gonna do a little zhuzhing, a little shaping, if you will. So this is the next spread. Hi, you're in my shot. So we have the, the inspo and the outcome. We've been interrupted by a cutie little boy. Electric, right? You make me feel alive. I know July is gone. You make me feel at home. Change color 